Hi guys, uh, this is my 2001 T4, 1.9 TD. Um, I've had it for about six months, I've been welding constantly on it, but that's nearly done now. Um, so I thought I'd start doing some interesting jobs on it. Sorry, this is my bay as well behind here. So you can see I'm a VW man. Um, today's job has been removing the dash from my T4. So let me swing you around a second, hold on. So here we are, dashboard removed. Um, was a bit of a pig of a job because I didn't read, or I, at least I missed the section that told you about that bolt just there inside the bonnet. So I was heaving away and nothing would happen, but eventually I rechecked and that's the one. <laughs> yeah, saying it nicely. Um, all in all, it's a pretty easy job. Um, I, there is the problem I've had with mine is some stuff broke, namely the clips here on the where the centre uh, vents are. But anyway, it's the dash. It's the standard dash. It has had one modification, which is this switch, which is full of the leisure battery to turn it on and off. But that's a, another matter. As you can see, at some point it's been. I think it's forever black. It's been painted on it, but it was done in situ. Uh, it wasn't a brilliant job, they missed loads a bit. There's loads of crud on it. So I'm gonna paint this now. I've just bought a load of plastic coat paint. So I'm gonna go through the steps where I paint this dashboard. Right, so first job, I'm gonna sand it down. It does need a clean, but I, I don't, I'm not gonna clean it now because I've gotta do it again after I've um, prepped it anyway. So I'm using just normal um, sanding blocks and I'm going to give it a good rub down, all of it. I need to do this because there's lots of scratches and marks and obviously I want to try and get as many of these out as I possibly can. I might use my orbital at some point but I'm going to go over it first by hand and just see what sort of, what we're left with at the end of it. Um, as you can see that it was done in situ because the job's quite terrible but anyway at the end of it we might just buy a new dashboard but we're gonna try we're gonna see what we can do so let's give it a prep and I'll be back in well, probably an hour over the whole dash, rubbed it down, rubbed a bit harder in places where there's some uh, <coughs> scuffs etc. And I've wiped it over with white spirit just to get rid of any dust. Now I'm going to give it a thorough wash in um, soapy water and then let it dry. So uh, you see I've rubbed down everywhere I can. There was loads of horrible gunk and stuff in here I think you can see. <laughs> But the so there's white spirit soaking in there. That should come out. I think what's happened is, judging by looking at that, previous owner has had a can of coke, and it's uh, spilt into the 
into the speaker residue and just settled in there. But I need to give it a good clean to get all these nooks and crannies all clean out. I haven't needed to prep particularly all this because all this is behind the instrument cluster, obviously. I have given it a bit of a going over, um, but uh, so it's not essential. As long as you get round these bits like here, which, which could be seen, you don't want to be leaving any grey because obviously all the other bits are going to be painted not necessarily the same colour as the dash but um, they will be painted to match. I think I'm going to get the glove box and the dash tidy at some point um, so uh, that'll improve things no end and I'm going to also upgrade the speakers while I'm at it. So yeah let's give it a good wash. Right so nice nice wash I've got a washing up sponge and a scrubbing brush I'm just going to give it a good soapy wash, getting all the nooks and crannies. go nice and clean also clean the bins wife will be pleased let that dry now might then give it another coat of um white spirit we'll see well, i shouldn't need it but might do. just let that dry right so the dash is dry now um here it is i'm going to give it a bit of paint um now I'm not gonna. I'm not worried about um, spray gun on the drive. The drive's been replaced soon, so let's give it a try. The paint that we've got, plastic coat super matte spray paint, available from most DIY places. I got this one off Amazon. Um, it covers about 2.23 meters per can. So I've got three cans because I want to do. The dash, all the dash accessories, and also the door cut. So it's dry, the dash, it's ready to go. So I'm going to put a bit of a coat on. This will just be the first coat. I think I'm going to try for three. Um, just depends how far the paint goes. Um, let's give it a try. So, one coat done. A bit patchy, but it is the first coat and it is drying, so it will come up better when it's dried. There's still some wet patches and obviously some dry. But first impressions, that looks pretty blooming good. So, we'll leave that out in the sunshine, let it dry. Come back to it in about 20 minutes and uh, see what we got. Right, so coat one's dried, not too bad to be fair. I am going to give it another coat because there's little bits, look at the back, just needs going over again. And a couple of bits where I didn't get enough paint, like along here, and a bit of water or something here, so I've rubbed that down again. Redo that. But otherwise, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's looking really, really good. 
So I'm going to give it another coat now. I'm not going to video the second coat, but I'll get on with it. Right then, next morning, it's all dried up. There's two coats of the black plastic coat on the dash, which has used pretty much an entire can. So we've still got two cans left. Still got all the attachments for the dash, all the door cards and everything to do as well. So I've placed the dashboard back in situ. It's not connected or anything yet. I just wanted to see if it looks okay in the light from the windscreen, except to so let's have a look. Okay, so there's the new black dash in place. There's a couple of bits like on the top there where you can still see some paint lines, but I'm going to be getting the um, dash tidy on top, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Main concern was to make sure that the bits like here were good and the top. So let's look at the top. Dirty windscreen, so you can't really see. But uh, it does look pretty good, actually. Try and get it from this side. So I'm reasonably really pleased with that. It looks so much better than the... I mean, it looked like this and the, the, on this door card with bits of grey showing through and scuffs and things like that. These are the next things to get the uh, the same job and paint all the door handles and the window wipers, uh, window, window winders. So I'm now going to fit this back in. That's going to be a bit of a task in itself. Um, just notice there's a bit of a scuff getting it in there. That's a bit of a bummer. I might touch that up by spraying a bit of paint onto some card or something and then brushing it on and uh, that should cover that up. That might be a problem. But I'm pleased with that. That looks good. Let's get right. it fitted. So the dash is pretty much all in place now. The speakers, air vents, I've got something planned for those. Um, but you can see the finish on the paint. You can pair it. Brilliant. Really good. Really pleased with it. Even the centre console's done under there. This has been covered in some sort of vinyl at some point. This all needs coming off. I've again, I've got plans to get all that redone. done. Um, makes the steering wheel look really bad. Go around the other side and have a look from there as well. Again, so I've still got the vent and the headlights around and also the instruments around to go in. My fuse box cover was actually damaged. So I've ordered a new one off eBay, um, which is here now. It's just been painted. It's just awaiting drying. My centre storage um, thing has arrived, so that's been painted. That's why I'm not too worried about the finish on this bit, because that's going to be covered up with the binnacle. Uh, all the vents and stuff, I say, I've got um, an idea for them that I'm going to do on all that. But overall, for what was a completely and utterly battered dashboard, really pleased with that. I've even done some mods. I've fitted a boost gauge. The Hazard warning switch out of uh, Passat, twin USBs, and also a temperature humidity sensor. Um, I'm thinking of fitting a double in stereo, which is why the stereo has not gone back in. And as I say, this vinyl stuff, although I really like it, it looks really cool, the finish is awful. So I need to redo that myself. And again, you can see what it used to be like just from looking at this door card. That's next on the list. But yeah, there you go one painted t4 there we go i hope that was useful to anybody um maybe i should have known a bit more um how to refit but all that information is on t4 forum and other places um it's quite a simple job taking the dashboard out as long as you remember that nut that i pointed out right at the start of the videos um it's taken me a couple of days because i wanted to make i, I had to wait on some parts and i wanted to finish or the fitting to, to, to be good. So I've had to wait for stuff to dry before it can be fitted, things like that. But uh, overall, yeah, I'm really pleased. Next job, door cards, um, and then uh, some mechanical work, and my T4 will be back on the road. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, I'll do some more VW tutorials in the future. Um, please like, thanks a lot, see you later.